right guys so I just got back from the Mac to the Beach party the preview party at one of the Mac Pro stores Mac Montague in Brooklyn really nice store by the way really great people um, I saw some gorgeous makeup there and um, so I just want to show you get right into it and show you guys what I got first thing I want to tell you is when you get there you give them your name and they give you an order form see so you go it looks like this hope you can see it me. <laughs> And it says to the beach and it has room on the back for writing calculation and it has the entire list of what's in the collection and you write how many of each thing you want and at the end of the day you give it to them and they'll get it for you um there were you guys can watch the video that i put up um it's max to beach part two the party uh that i put up about it and it'll show you the, a little bit of the party just like a minute's worth it was so crowded in there and people were pushing all over the place it was just so hard to get anywhere and to just walk around with the video camera was just a little more difficult than I would have liked. So I got um, five things from the collection. In my bag. <laughs> um, I didn't get any of the eyeshadows, and I'll tell you that right up front. Just because I, um, there was a pink, which, let's see. The Sand and Sun, which is like the matte peach color. There's Firecracker, which is the Velux Pearl, and it's a, um, it's like a pinky color. This Humid, which is a permanent. This Sweet and Punchy, which is like a yellow lime. And Shimmer Moss, which is a permanent. Um, Shimmer Moss and Humid, I'll get another day when I can get the Pro Pan. And, um, you know, my money was already budgeted for this, basically. So I wanted to use it on the stuff that I knew I couldn't get another time. Um, and Sweet and Punchy was the only other one that really tempted me. It was like the lime green one. But um, I swatched it on my hand, and when I went back to it, it looked flat out yellow. So I didn't want to um, get something that was going to be so yellow, because it doesn't really suit me. Um, okay, so, when we got there, there were a bunch of guys in tiny bikini, like, bathing suits, and they were making shell necklaces, so this is what they made me, this is a shell, and little beads on twine, very cute, very beachy, put that on for my review, okay, here it is, and now I'm ready for, to go to the beach, okay, so the first thing I got was... The Lustre Drops. I'm opening them for the first time, as you guys see. These are the Lustre Drops, and I got them in Pink Rebel. And this is them, right here. It looks like those um, little squeeze bottles of paint that you get, like the fabric paint, the puffy kind. And this is the nozzle. It looks exactly like that. So I'm going to show you. And that's it right there on my hand. And this, they said, I asked about 20 people exactly what you do with this, because I was so unsure, like, it's eighteen fifty, and I was so unsure about spending almost $20 on something that I wasn't sure what it did. So this is it, it's pink, and they said you can use it as a highlighter, if you can see it going on, it's giving such a shimmer. They said to use it as a highlighter or to blend it in with any kind of face makeup, um, or even use it on bare skin, they said, if you're going to like the beach or something, blend it with your sunscreen or your leg cream or something, so that's it, and it's like a pinky shimmer. I really like it, I think I'm going to be able to use it good, like along here. Um, I really just to do what they said, to blend it in, make everything look dewy and cool. So that's that, I think it's a very cool summery product. And then I got the um, MAC Marine Life Highlight Powder, and this is it in the box. Marine Life. Now this is like a coral orange almost color, and then um, a light pink with a gold overspray. Here's the packaging and the name. So let me pop it open. Alright, so there it is. Let's put in the shimmer. There we go. Okay, now this gold overspray is gorgeous, but it's going to come off after a few uses, especially um, if you're using like a kabuki or something so they recommended that you use a stipply brush like a 187 um i'm so scared to even like swatch this because i don't want to get rid of the thing i'm gonna try very hard to keep the um the seahorse gold and just use what's around it but here we go so this is the light pink that's it right there and that's it right there let me try it again just to make sure you can really see it that's the light pink i hope you can see that but that's it sorry and this is the dark pink right there and this is it there that's the dark pink I'll give you that again the dark pink and that's the dark pink right there okay um when you put them together you get like a weird mix 
because it's like a peachy pink. It's really pretty. I really like that. I'm going to do a look for you guys with that um, probably over the weekend. So then there were four lipsticks in the collection. There was Thrills, which was a frost, um, Beach Bound, which was a glaze, Lazy Day, which was a luster, and Fun Bathing, which was a cream sheet. I got everything except Fun Bathing, which was like a dark, almost chestnut brown. Um, and I definitely can't pull off the color. So this is Lazy Day. And this is the luster. And this is the packaging. It's got the shell on it, painted right onto the tube. A lazy day. Okay. And this is the color. When I first saw it, the first thing I asked the um, makeup artist there was, does this look like Lady Gaga lipstick? Because it looks so pale like that. But um, they assured me that it doesn't. And from what I could tell, it doesn't. That's it right there. See, it actually has some pigmentation. I'm going to compare it um, to Gaga right now for you. This Gaga. Oh, it's Cindy. Alright, so this is Gaga. And this, this is Lazy Day. And this is Gaga. This is a lot more pink. This has a little more beige to it. So I'm going to put that next to it. And the comparison, that's, that's Lazy Day and that's Gaga. Okay, so Lazy Day is a lot more wearable than Gaga. And even the makeup artist uh, there said it. So, that's that. The next one I got was Thrills, and that's a frost, right? Yeah, it's frost. This is the box, by the way, it's orange. And it's the same tube. And this is a darker color, it's like an orangey gold kind of color. Um, it's not a color I would usually go for, but I was really just into it. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. It's like this frosty, almost burgundy with like a gold tint to it. The makeup artist kept saying that it was like my lip color. I'm not so sure about that, but it looks really pretty. So I'm going to try to make it work. And the last thing I got was Beach Bound. And that is a glaze. Yeah, it's a glaze. My first glaze. So there's that. And I'm going to swatch it. And here's the swatch. If you could see it. It's this pale peach kind of color. Like a peachy gold. And it's really pale. I'm going to put on my lips right now for you. And it just gives you a nice color. It's not... I could probably layer it, but it is just a glaze. Like, it gives a nice glaze of color of the lips, a nice shine, and I think it's really nice and summery. I have gold, um, I have mythology, and all that glitters and flip on my eye right now with orb. And I think this complements it really well, because it's not too heavy, it's really pretty, and it would be really gorgeous over another a bunch of other colors. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me show you really quick. This is the whole collection again. Oh, where are we Here we go. This is exactly what I got. And these five products came out to $94 with New York State tax. This was $26. These were each $14 and this was $18.50. And that's that. And this is of course you can see my gorgeous little necklace. Okay? So Thank you so much guys for watching. Keep subscribing. And over the weekend I'm going to add a part 4 to my video series that I've had with the Max of the Beach. And I'm going to do a really summery, summery beachy like glowy look. Uh, that focuses on a lot of golds and a little bit of green liner. And I'm going to show you how to use the luster drops. Alright, so thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day.